I honestly think eh, it's about time Nigerians, the fans in Nigerians, to start practicing the need not to keep comparing artists together, comparing one artist to another artist. Of course, so it's good for blogs, so it's good for social media, it's good for interaction and everything. It kind of like uplift the spirit of uh, the necessity of having a fab. You know, it's good, it's good. But I think not all cases. Eh? We should just try to relax a little bit. Not be everything with the compare. Relax, chairman. Now, the comparison is between Rema and Asake. You know, five major artists. O2 Arena is like, it's like um, the arena that kind of like uh, baptizes you to another whole new level. If you have done O2 Arena, after O2 Arena, you are going upper, just going bigger and bigger, going to a bigger stage. Because you cannot go do O2 Arena and see fall back to this small stage. No. O2 Arena is like a baptist ground for artists to show that, yes, you are among the big three or big four or big five. Uh, David O, Whiskey, Bonaboy already did it. Asake did, uh, the, uh, did it crazy earlier this year. And then, boom. Rema is doing it again. So it's, we now have Big Five in Nigeria. Big Five, the only artist I've ever done it from Nigeria. Five. Now, you know, the closest person you can compare Rema to is Asake. And now they are comparing both Asake and Rema. Come on, man. There is absolutely no need. No be everything with the compare. No be everything with the fight between artists. But let me be completely honest. Just for the social media references and uh, just for the hypo, honestly speaking, between Asake and Rema show. They are both incredible entertainers, so I give them prompts, so it's not easy to perform at O2 Arena, but if you should ask me my most favorite performance, I swear on God who created me, I will go for Rema. In fact, above David O, above Whiskey, above uh, Bonaboy. The performance at O2 Arena by Bonaboy, by Rema, uh, but the performance at O2 Arena by Rema, honestly, see, no performance near or come close. I'm going to give it to Rema, to me, to me, to me, above all. I know, I know, I know how you guys might feel that Rema is still, it's not about being little in the game or not being the biggest or not being the best. I'm talking about O2 Arena performance. I'm talking about the performance yesterday night. I will always hype that performance. It's above any. And guess what Rema did before the whole performance? He gave kudos to his boss, Bonaboy. Rema wrote, he said, before I get on stage, I want to say a big thank you to Bonaboy for bringing me on stage two years ago. Today is my turn to conquer the same stage. And I wish you were here to share this moment with me. Regardless, I'm grateful for the motivation. With love, Rema. Rema is the number one artist you see in Nigeria that always give respect to the legend. Like he, he doesn't play. When it comes to whiskey, he gives his respect to whiskey. When it comes to uh, David Doe, he gives his respect to David Doe. When it comes to Bonaboy, he gives that respect to Bonaboy and every other legend for their contribution. But you see some uh, artists. Some recent artists will start choosing this one from this one. We start granting interviews that kind of like put them in that spot. Ask the accident between whiskey, did do all those kind of things. You know, all those kind of if a if an uh, an interviewer because if you are if a musician is sitting in front of an interviewer, the interviewer is trying to look for the next big catch that are going to get a lot of attention. So it's going to ask some ridiculous question. As an artist, comport yourself and don't answer that question. They dance around the question. Dance around the question, not to put yourself in that position. But some artists, boom, you know, there you are. I like uh, David Doe first. I like a uh, whiskey first. Why Rema first? You no, know, come on, man. Stop being. Use your head. Use your head. Some artists, I'll just see you. 
that would do mudu black don't do one. Many artists don't do one. See, an artist I do not have the luxury of saying I like this artist more than this artist. That's just a fact. You don't have the luxury. Allow bloggers, allow fans to do that argument. That's the whole essence of having fans and the bloggers out there. Don't put yourself. Remember, always I've I've, I've watched him a couple of uh, times now, and he's really knows how to pay respect to his uh to his boss. So check out what uh Daniel Rega said about Rema. Really crazy. He said Asaka, Asaka is bigger artist than Rema, but Rema get better PR thanks to Don Jazzy's influence and that of Maven Record. Lyrically speaking, Asake has more meaningful songs. Rema 90% of the time recycle lyrics. The only thing they have in common is that both are still upcomers. That's all. No shit. <laughs> that the reka, you know, the constructive way he speaks about some things, eh? It makes you want to fall in love with him, even when he's speaking rubbish. It makes you, it captivates you, and then uh, for you again, it captivates you with, uh, with the whole entire uh, statement. Uh, it makes you want to even want to hear the next thing is going to say. Not for the fact that it's going to be talking rubbish, but you want to hear it anyway. That is Daniel Rega for you. You know, people just out there speaking on how someone to act, who is bigger and who is bigger, but they don't know what it takes to enter the studio and record the, uh, and, and record the song. Then he also said, Rema headlining the Hutu Arena is a win for Maven Record, but not for him as an artist. Truth be told, he's way too early, and this isn't what he needs right now. At the moment, his success doesn't match his hype or talent. At the moment, Rema's success doesn't match his hype and talent. He has no well thought body of work aside a few catchy songs. Don Jazzy should be focusing more on artist development to help create long longevity. <laughs> Not just breaking record. Artists need time to grow. Rushing the process is never a good idea. No offense. Artists need time to grow. Rushing the process is never a good idea. <laughs> okay. Rockstar. <laughs> this is Daniel Rega. You need correct, confirmed beat name. From, not from me, though. I like uh, what he's saying, though. But from this artist, they need to gather one there. Set this Daniel Rega up. Uh, beat her well, well, well. You said that uh, Rema needs more time to grow. That the success that Rema is getting now doesn't really the hype, the hype that wait, 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 you said at the moment his success doesn't match his hype. The success that Rema is getting now doesn't match the hype. But big up to Rema. Big up to him. Rema never sees to slow down ever since. Ever since he started working, he has, he has always focused focused on the game. On how to be better, do it more. Big up the Rema guy. He tried. Rockstar. <laughs> so the comparison between Rema and Asake is not useful, honestly. It's not useful. Asake did his thing at O2 Arena. For me, I'm going for I'm going for Rema, honestly. I never knew Rema has so much hit songs. Honestly. I never knew Rema had so much hit songs. But that day, come on, man. I ain't, 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 ain't no way anybody gonna tell me nothing. No way. That guy tried. He killed that show. He killed that show. I was so impressed, man. Very, very impressed. So let's move past that just to wind our tongue a little. Hmm? Just to catch some vibe a little. Check out this uh, photo of a girl who was brutally beaten. A female student mercilessly flogged by a school resident pastor for being late to church service in South Africa. A female student mercilessly flogged by a resident pastor. So, 
uh, for being late to church service. Well, uh, both Islam are doing it as well now. You see some Islamic uh, teachers still beating students for being late. But this guy is a really grown up uh, uh, student now. I don't see any reason why they should be beaten. But that time when I was in boarding school, my principal used to beat secondary school students for coming late to church. So I don't know, I don't want to condemn it, but the beating was too much. I, I, I would definitely condemn any form of uh, inflating any uh, injury on anybody. You know, I, there's another way for us to do it. But this recent age, because uh, because, you know, you see, all those guys, you don't know whether to support or not to support because the Cubans of nowadays uh, are so relaxed. They don't care about church. They just want to do flanger, enjoy themselves, and relax their life. They don't care about it at all. So they need iron hand, that re iron hand of that time. Then they need to reintroduce it now. But not from this kind of pastor because the pastor doesn't even look clean. It looks like uh, this uh, f uh, fornicators. Yeah. Well, let me know exactly how you feel. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed.